All right, guys, now I found this broken laptop over on eBay and I figured let's buy it and let's try to fix it. Now, here we go with the unboxing. Let's get right into it. All right, now as you can see, it's super dirty and it's quite the thick machine, just look at it. And so yeah, we're, we're gonna take a look at it and see if we can fix it. Now the seller said that the laptop receives power, but then it doesn't turn on. Let's see if that's true. I just grabbed a random um, power supply which I had, and as you we can see the LEDs did light up, but we have no lights down here. So it is actually taking in power. That's a good thing. And I can actually hear something starting, but it's not the fan. Now, currently there is, there is no RAM in there, so that's expected. All right, first step of the diagnosing done. Now let's actually slot some RAM in there and open it up. Now the computer is simply filthy. Just look at it, it's quite disgusting. So we're gonna just first clean it off with a good old data back. So yeah, let's go. Okay, now that's pretty much it. Again, just a quick, you know, work to make sure that I don't get sick by working on it because it was like super dirty. Now we can actually see what's wrong with it. Now here we are, what I gathered up until now is that, well, it might be the screen that's broken or it might be the video card. Cause here's what I did, right? I cleared the CMOS, cause like the first thing you should do when diagnostic a laptop is just that sometimes it fix it. And of course, when I removed it, it started to spin the fans before it didn't. Uh, now that the fans are spinning, um, I put a RAM which I grabbed from this other laptop and it keeps spinning so it means that it is actually booting but we have no signal here and then I slapped an HDMI and we have no signal there either so yeah it's a video output so that's pretty much how you diagnostic it if, every, if, every, if everything works and it does not boot cycle you change the RAM etc and you get like no video output it's either the screen or the graphics card now in this case we have a removable graphics card so we will look into it all right now this is the situation with the laptop now the gpu is removable so now we're gonna just we're gonna do just that and then um it is probably the broken part so i ordered a replacement but we're also gonna try to fix this one and by the way this is a gtx 970 which i bought on the side um and in the end if i fix the laptop i will try uh, to make this fit but it's gonna be a real hard fit because this laptop it's not designed for this kind of GPUs because it is this model and uh, it only supports uh, um, AMD GPUs. But I mean, it's kind of cool that, that, you know, you have this MXM GPU and you can just uh, plug it in and remove it. This one in, is a GTX 970. This one is an HT5850. And the heatsink is also kind of cool. Now we're going to remove it. That's good. Then it has a single screw holding it down and then it just comes off. And you know, you can just remove it. Boys, now we're gonna do a nice reflow on this HD 5850M. Let's go. And now here we are with the laptop. Now, sorry if I didn't show the reassembly process, but I just quickly tried it late at night. But yeah, it's now working. Uh, we can just maybe open CPU-Z. Now I do not have the proper drivers installed. But I mean, as you can see, the laptop is working. Now it's a laptop, so you know, it was that GPU. And well, if we go over on graphics, uh, you can see that like it's a radio. Now again, I do not have the driver installed, but so far it's working. So yeah, apparently Reflow, I mean, it was pretty obvious, but hey, you can also Reflow a laptop and the GPU will work. Uh, so yeah, we got a 
we, we pretty much fixed this laptop by reflowing the GPU, which is simply great. And here we are with the CPU. Now, as you can see, it's boosting to around three gigahertz on a single core. And well, this is the score. It's, you know, it may look kind of bad, <laughs> but it's actually quite decent, you know, for a CPU this old and on a laptop, especially on a 60 bucks laptop. All right, guys, now, as you can see right here, um, even though I cleaned the laptop pretty well, it still looked kind of bad. So uh, I decided to use some carbon uh, adhesive and I basically used um, um, this knife to cut it. And I also placed it on the um, touchpad pretty much. And as you can see, it came out pretty well. Then I also decided to reuse an M.2 SSD I had. It was a SATA one, so no worries about the bottleneck. And I placed it inside a SATA adapter and I used that as my SSD. Not too bad for a 60 bucks laptop considering it still has just 4 gigs of RAM in single channel, huh? The Firestrike score is also quite impressive, even though if we take a look at it, the physics is pretty much four times the graphics, uh, which means that the CPU can handle way better of a graphics card. And that's why I wanted to try a modern motherboard to support uh, like a GTX 970. So I will give that a shot, even though it's pretty damn difficult because I have to like merge the VBIOS because the problem is in the BIOS from the motherboard. So I will have to like take the other model, which supports NVIDIA GPUs, merge them and like flash it manually with a programmer, but that, that, that's besides the point. Um, so this means that basically with an external GPU, this computer can do great. Uh, but uh, as it is, eh, um, it probably can just play like CSGO. But yeah, we'll see. All right, guys, now here we are with the computer actually finished. We also did those little aesthetic mods we talked about. Um, so, you know, it looks pretty nice, not brand new, but pretty nice. And in the end, unfortunately, I did not manage to slot in the GTX 970 uh, because to do that, uh, again, it's a pretty difficult mod, but I wanted to try it, but I could not because I needed to take a dump uh, of the original BIOS in the motherboard because the VBIOS is in the motherboard and I would have needed the other model of this laptop, which is like the GH um, instead of the um, J, and this one is the J, or vice versa, um, which is the one compatible with NVIDIA cards and not AMD ones. So unfortunately, um, it uh, will like we will have to keep this HD fifty eight seventy, but we could actually upgrade uh, to a more recent AMD GPU. So I I, I will think about it. Uh, it should be compatible with like a 270 or like the counterpart for laptops. So that should give us a nice performance boost, so I will definitely look into it. Um, and I could also upgrade the CPU, but again, I still have like this broken CPU here, and like they shipped it to me broken. I had to go through a lot of hassle on eBay to get a refund. Um, and even then, I don't know if it's gonna work actually on this laptop, so I really don't feel like doing that right now, especially since the um, physics score in Firestrike is actually super good. As you've seen, it's around 4K, which is actually capable of handling <clears throat> even a 970, which is what I wanted to put in there. Um, so again, if I have to upgrade, I will upgrade the, the GPU and not the CPU, because that's what would give us the most uh, increase. But then again, uh, actually, this laptop is going to be used by my grandpa because the screen is pretty big and it's pretty comfortable to use. And so he doesn't really need to play uh, games. So it's going to be plenty fine how it is right now. And also, yeah, I swapped out the keyboard mostly because I have another Asus laptop, uh, which we use more. And the keyboard in this one was very, very good. So we wanted to put that very nice keyboard in there. And so now we have a cheap keyboard, which was on the other laptop in here. So overall, uh, for 60 bucks, it just came out great. And I can definitely see myself uh, buying uh, more broken laptops in the future, but especially if you like it, so let me know um, if you'd like me to cover that. And I personally believe that, again, not the case, but in case you wanted to uh, buy broken laptops on eBay, then try to fix them and then sell them for a profit, uh, 
if you choose properly your ads, uh, it could actually be quite profitable. So yes, uh, again, let me know what you think about it. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.